Nice position from the man. Let's get him going, lads. What is this card? Today is a good day. Another flashback card to add to my club. We've got hundreds already, which is fantastic. EA, keep bringing them out. And most importantly, that left, hopefully, upgrade. A left back upgrade that I've been wanting for a while. Rocking the 86 Teo Hernandez. So he's getting a little bit outdated now. However, Spinazzola looks very similar in this stat department to that card. But let's hope he's a little level above. The card itself looks pretty sick. I love the flashback design still. Four star, four star, six foot one high medium. Now this man was phenomenal. Euros a few years ago, unbelievable. Unfortunately got injured, but had some sick cards over that year. And I believe, yeah, lower last year, did he get shapeshifters? Five star, I swear he got a five star skill shapeshifter card. Let me know if he did down below. That could be me just absolutely waffling. I hope it isn't. But the man itself is an 86 and 84 and 82 to get done. So not cheap. Could play as a left mid, which is nice. The pace is going to be so damn quick. 97 acceleration, 94 sprint speed, happy days. Going forward, not too bad to be fair. The passing stats are decent, crossing's good. Shooting, maybe had to find the back of the net, but you don't really want him in front of goal, being real, boys. Uh, Kapoja's not there either, so don't trust this man to score a goal or two. Dribbling stats do look nice, though. Hopefully, feels pretty quick and snappy. Probably a chem style to boost defending and physicals off the bat. Those are the two stats as a left back that you definitely need to super juice. Player traits, nothing crazy. Let's give man a, this man a chem style and go from there. Let me know what you think as well, boys. Uh, are you a fan? Do you think it's a little bit expensive? Because maybe it is, man. I feel like an 86 team in there just adds up a little bit. But at the end of the day, Teo Hernandez in a similar league, similar links apart from the fact he's French. It's probably in the similar price bracket as well. That is what I'm liking to see. Big boost to defending of physicals. Let's stop waffling now and get into the gameplay. You ready? Let's do it. Right, what are we saying then? Game number one to Stegen. Back five, you sweaty boy. Gold Benzema and a Realm. I swear that Realm card came out about seven years ago, man. <laughs> Let's go. Get him on the ball instantly. Smalling. Obviously gets a nice link into him. If you've not done that flashback card, I'll definitely recommend doing it. One thing with this man, with those kind of pace, you expect him to be able to blitz forward and contribute a lot. Oh, we bore on the wrong way. They're giving goes. We want to see that pace from the man. Is he on side still? I think he is. Float that in there. Oof. Almost they are a Martinez-esque moment from the Villa Arsenal game on the weekend. Mbappino smashing the bar and almost giving us the lead. But that whip in for Spinazzola looked decent, lads. Let's get him on the ball as much as possible in this game, man. Truly test out his attacking side to the game. Maybe a Chavella. Maybe he's got that in his lockers. Mate, why did that look like that was floating in? With my fullbacks, especially my left back, for some reason, I love attacking. Like, I feel like I've got Carlos Alberto on one side. He's very solid defensively. And then we've got um, normally the quick, really hard to manage and tackle fullbacks playing at left back like Teo and Andes. So Spinazzola is almost perfect for me. And we've got a 1-0 rage quit off the bat. Yes, we have, lads. Let's get on to game number two. All right, we go again. Man City badge. Team of the year, Courtois in the sticks. And a pretty sweaty meta looking team. All right, then, let's do it. All right, River. Almost taking up the left back position, Spinazzola. Like, the dribbling's not crazy, but it's, it's not too bad. You could probably do some technical dribbling with the boy. Like, that was an RB control there, and he, he looked a little bit slow to kind of get, uh, get it down under control, and we end up losing it. Now, the demon that is Puskas is in. Mate, you're not going to score from there, though, are you, mate? Oh, 1-0 down. Ala Warren heads it home. Fair play, mate. Up against Vanderson. Doesn't look super fast, but definitely quicker than uh, his opponent there. Uh, but the back five, man, is stanky. What an absolute sweaty boy we're playing. Boys. Boys. Oh, I've tried to be greedy, man. I wanted to get the assist for Spinozola. Spinazzola's got to fit into that little hole now and cover him. And he does perfectly, mate. Absolutely perfectly. I was going to say beautiful for a second. Uh, but perfect bit of defending for the man. Sweeping up, covering his boy. Now we can boogie. Bellegarde. Oh, I saw Benzema making that movement. Yeah, that's what you want from the man. You want the pace there, boys. Beautiful again for Spinazzola. And again, man. He's quick, defensively solid. Looks like he's got the physical side to his game, which is nice. Look at Mbappe making that run, man. A little bit ambitious. Never mind, Killian. I 
Killian, my boy. Killian, let's go. We do get a little bit lucky, but a nice bit of composure there from Ribery. I aim for Benzema, but I take it off the deflection. And Bapinio gets us that equaliser. Come on, test that pace now. Building out of the back, up to Ribery. Hold it up now, lad. A spinner on the overlap, and he's gone, boys. Lightning fast. It's a beautiful pick out. Mbappe makes it two. Spinazzola gets another assist. That is where he's truly going to shine, man. Overlapping your, your left midfielders, your attacking midfielders, whoever's playing on that left-hand side. Even as a left midfielder, the only issue is that the passing might let you down. The shooting's definitely going to let you down. So you don't want him that far at the pitch all the time. But the occasional overlap from fullback, and that's what I'm here for, man. I like that. Winston repeat this overlap. Ah, it's a decent ball in, but not really what I should be doing there. I should have kept driving a little bit. That's huge in Bellegarde. Come on. Taram. Benzema makes it free, lads. And that hopefully is going to be another quick. Come on, Tibli FC. Give it to me, sunshine. Let's go. Can we make it free for free, lads? Spezia is the badge. Mark Gehi. Big man Jorginho. A legend. Oh, mate, that game, by the way, I'm still a little bit speechless. What a game of football. If you're a neutral watching that as well, you have been spoilt to a madness. Obviously, a huge W for my boys, but crazy game of football. There we go. Big touch here. Lovely. Trent. Doesn't matter, mate. Doesn't matter. Trent has our... Uh, Trent... Who? Who? What am I saying? <laughs> Trent Alexander-Arnold is a bit of a bully as a fullback. That's Centurion's card. Spinazzola makes light work of him. Picks the pass. And that is another assist for the man. I love that my man's trying to go down that side as well. You do not want to be in a, uh, a leg race alongside the man, the myth, the legend that is Mr. Spinazzola. Come on there, boys. 1-0 up already. Let's secure the W. Quick time with this. Nice position from the man. Look at him going, lads. What is this card? What have we just scored, boys? He could do it all. He could defend. He could contribute with assists. And he can score screamers. Okay. Spinazzola. Big leap. Black button. Turan. Ribery. Bends it in, lads. One touch in the back of the net. And it is free. Light work in that one, boys. Spinazzola scored an absolute screamer as well. Like... That surprised me because the shooting stats really aren't there on the card. But three games, three Ws for the boys. And let me look at the uh, contribution Spinazzola had there. Because he's getting assists, goals. Two assists and a goal in the three matches at left back. Defensively solid as well. He was tested a little bit in that second game with Kaka. Running down the wing. Held him up. Kaka's a big man. This man was not phased. Basically bullied him a little bit. The pace is so good. Very similar to Teo Hernandez in that aspect. He's basically a carbon copy in the defensive side of things. You're relying a lot on the pace and getting ahead of your opponent. But the interception stats are nice, man. You can make good interceptions with the card. Going forward, though, that is truly where this man shines as an attacking fullback. The overlaps. So damn quick. So damn clinical. Um, the goal was insane as well. The passing, the cutbacks, beautiful card. Comes in at about 180k as it stands. I think that is a W. And this man has cemented his place in my team for now. Nice little link to Smalling flashback as well. Let me know what you think, boys. All right, I'm intrigued to know if you're going to get this card, if you've already got him or not. Uh, let me know down below in the comment section. Enjoy the rest of your Sunday. Hope you had a great weekend. And I'll uh, catch you tomorrow. Take it easy.